And welcome back, good morning everybody. Today the next bow from Family Shimshek and it's a new model of the Shiprahi. This is the plus, oh, the plus version with decoration in blue this time. You know it's already pretty, I will show you close-ups. It's a 39 pound, really nice. And what I have, I have of course the old one, so we will compare them how they look compared to each other, what's different. That was the old one. I like this color combination a lot in this khaki olive or whatever it is. Uh, Frankie made here a small protection for the arrow pass. So what is new? Let's directly look at the shape. And then we see we have a little less flex in the handle. No, not really, but so they are almost, look at this, the shape is very similar. But what we have now is what I was complaining with this one compared to the, the hybrid. We, had, we didn't have here this nice spine going down on the Kazan. And look what we have now, like with the new Tatar bows. Same, this big difference here. Here we had this small inlay for the knock and here we have now this big one, reinforced, for sure way more sturdy. Then we have instead of this string groove, the string pad, oops, string pad, like we had with the Tatar. And of course then the a very thin, look, the sear is a little thinner and it runs down here with a very narrow spine and not like here with this massive chunk. So we have less weight on the tips, on the sears. Handle looks the same, maybe it's a little smaller, but the rest unstrung, very much the same. Let's see how they look strong. And then we're done with the comparison. Uh, prices will come later. So this is the old Sipahi S, uh, yeah, Sipahi S Plus. It's such a pretty bow. And of course, so let's start quickly. What you get is what you get. You get the bow, a string, a sleeve, and I got the documentation. That's why I can directly tell you it's the Simsek Siprahi, the new version, it's a Turkish one. Has a strong length of 98 centimeters, unstrung 83 centimeters. The string length is 94.5. Uh, the draw weight of this one is 39 pounds and we can have this bow from 30 to 45 standard and they have again this version up to 99 pounds but I'm not sure about that. Then max draw is 27 to 29 inches and of course you have here I will show you then all the detailed information. So we get a little more than we got with the other ones. That's nice, gives you an extra point. Still no recommendation of arrow weight, but as we saw with the other bows, you can shoot this bow almost with everything you have. What I just saw is I think the arrow pass is a little more narrow, but we get to this in a second. First we do what we always have to do. 41 and a half. So then let's see the arrow pass. The writing on the wall is there. So arrow pass and then narrowest part is 20 millimeters and the old one had now we have a reinforcement on so it doesn't count 20 almost 22 yes so two millimeters less in the arrow pass I like this a lot let's a string it I want to string it string it and you know what I do now somebody I forgot now his name posted a video on YouTube how to string horse bows and he did it in a little cumbersome he put you know whatever so he put this one he steps through with this let me guess like this he puts this on his uh, how do you cut tie and then he simply sits down like this then you don't have the string twist and I think with a short bow like Turkish Tatar Korean bow this might work really nice with the longer one, you need to see if you still get the handle behind your thigh. But stringing was easy. Look at this. Brace height is 17 centimeters. Is it? 
we have 17 and a half yeah that's fine the old one had a brace side off 16 so now you will see oh, a slightly difference i'm not organized today so in front is the new one in the back is the old one and then you see the shape strung as a little different so because we have a little more brace side the bow is bending already a little more will cause us a little in draw length but i think that's fine looking good so this is what you get i think it's more but they both look eh, it's a bit out of shape here yeah. no only looks like so when it's resin with fiberglass and whatever i don't know ask family simsake when you want to know what the material exactly is about old one new one very similar but still different handle wise i think it's a little smaller but rounded on the back it's a little bigger but we still have this edge there on the old one but this one was a little deeper yes a little yeah, but it's a millimeter or so so fine handle a little too small for me as usual Ooh, for a 39 quite stiff and in this direction yeah medium but it's you saw it it's very easy to string and i didn't prepare arrows me idiot really pretty good what we didn't check now is the weight 300 and the old one was 330 so it's a little less weight it's probably because of the reduced sear design so 300 gram then we talk quickly about the prices then we are done here then we can shoot so the price of this bow starts at 350 euros and then again the leather cover is 50 and the tc part is 75 so in this version the bow would be then 425 euros the old one in the full version Sipahi S plus with leather and with TC board was 500 euros so we are now uh, 75 euros cheaper less than the old one and we have the benefits of all these design features less weight same draw length not shoot there we go up apart draw experience goes back until there and of course a bit beneficial it's only 39 pounds so it draws a little easier i guess let's see 300 grain arrows this narrow arrow pass is amazing look at this 29 inch arrows <laughs> yeah it kicks still a little but we know that by now and it will draw even nicer later wow <laughs> yes sir. nice out of the box string twist cutter oh now my shoulder was up you saw that didn't do warm-up always do your warm-ups <laughs> wow i don't show you know it's a group kind of like this oh, so incredible. as you know me i don't like short throw bows but i start liking them now <laughs> they're so much fun just a comparison the old one the old Chipahi, what it's doing, has a little more or less, more or less. Uh, I forgot now what the poundage of this one was. I think it was a little more. Doesn't draw that nice, but goes there. Oh, and kicks more. So the old one, due to the heavier sears. Oh, hear that? Ow! And the edgy handle. accurate like heck but shooting wise this is a charm look at this <laughs> nice kick still a little with 300 grain arrows but who cares <laughs> a better group awesome i don't know why it doesn't zero out anymore it does zero three so we need to deduct this from the poundage The draw of this bow, look at this, 28, 38.4, so we give it a 38, and I guess a little over 40, now we are at zero, fine, 
29 inches. See how easy you get to 29. 41.2. So 28. And such a short one. Look at this. Now you see, limbs are already coming way back. And see your angle, of course. Already over it a little. So 27 inches. You get your sear angle right. I know people have a different opinion about the sear angle. I don't have a peg at 29, but you see how it looks now already? 29, the limbs go backwards and you get into stacking. So you, it's as it is, it's a very short book. Now i show you quickly. Look at this. So you have the sears now, as you know it from the Tatar, the Kazan. Nice with this down spine here and then this nice leather work. I mean, if you get a bow like this, yeah, you should get one of these with the TC part. Plain ones are nice, but you know, this is already a premium bow. Make it look even more premium. The small string pads, these sears are really nice and very small and lightweight now, so helps. Very beneficial. Then the uh, belly of the bow, almost two edges here, but it's a reinforcement, I guess. Nice, look, and there we don't have dents in something. So it was really the first Tatar I reviewed was a kind of pre-production model. That's why we had these dents in there. The bows for sale don't have it. We have this golden lining there. String is nice. Everything works just behind this bow weighs nothing. 300 grams and kicks arrows. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's see what it does on 20. <laughs> nice bow. Arrow pass, arrow goes to the left, yes, of course. And this draw is incredible. Wow. Look, third arrow, and you get there. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this is out of the box fun and the arrow go where you want them. So this is, this is it, this is it. 300 grain, 41 pounds. I think just fine. 182. Easy to reach full draw. I like that. You feel the tip on your fingers and you know, now I reach my full draw. 187. 177 was a bad shot. 184. That's what you get out of the new one. Old one, I need to check the poundage again. I forgot and it's not written there. So how can I know? <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Because I wanted to like the, the, the Tatar more, but this one, wow, for a short robo, I think this is the best short robo I ever shot. Let's shoot the old one in comparison, what this one does. Hundred seventy-two, and you hear this metallic sound. Hundred seventy-seven. 192. Oh, 183. Kicks a little more. 173. 190. So, I think they are the same speed wise. Heavier sears kick a little more. So, new one, draw experience, shooting experience. And with this thumb protection, even my way of knocking easy, but it's not the topic of today. Look, until they're easy. <laughs> wow. String twist katra. One, one can feel all the refinements they made in this bow compared to the older one, so fully worth 
for the birthday. And this boat was now already 29 inches. There was no getting the flex in or something. Nice. And I think a little less poundage is good for the bow. I think, oh, so nice. I think with 45 pounds or more, it might get simply a little stiff at the end, but here this is 39 pounds. It's just, I think, the sweet spot for this bow. And I think enough for the horse archers community. Once you draw always the same, the arrow goes exactly the same. I drew a little less, then the arrow goes a little off. So it's easy, easy, easy to get used to this bow. And one, two, one, nothing. No vibration. I don't want to say it's a beast. It's simply wow. It does what it's supposed to do, but in a really nice way. So compared to the old one, you see, look at this. And how easy you can draw this bow to 29. Look at this. But of course, then you max it out, so half inch more, and it will get most probably a little tough to draw. But look, 29, and even no katra. Works, wobbles a bit, but katra string just in this is your friend for the rest of your life. You can shoot underwater, you can do everything, this bow will not delaminate. And I think you can go even with more lightweight arrows if you find some. So 280, 70 grain is still fine for this bow. With these ones, I said 300 grain, you get 185 foot per second out of it. And if you take a little lighter ones, surely 200. And then you can go to your archery club, they will laugh at you because they think it's a toy. And then you show them what this toy is capable of. So much fun to shoot this ball. Look at this, still a little high. Nice, let's shoot 30 while we are at it. Woo! Hi. Kicks arrows away, unbelievable. I thought I need to compensate more. Look, almost center. <laughs> Dead center. I love this ball and this one. I can keep. <laughs> Thank you, family shapeshake. Blue is not my color, but yes, it, it matches the color of my eyes. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm the rating for this bow. So, bowstring, sleeve, an extra sleeve, and a documentation gives you four points. Now, a little string holder or a second string. Two points, you know. So, handling of this bow, as you saw, it's so easy to string and unstring. <laughs> and, of course, this bow is straight, so you don't have to worry about anything. This bow simply works out of the box, you saw it. Then the build of this one, I showed you already. Simply pretty. The artwork, everything, all the joints, everything. And at least finally we have another poundage written on it, so it's not a guesswork anymore, very good. String pad, it's only dirty now. Gotten a bit dirty now. But this is part of the deal. Really pretty, so build quality, five basic feel. This bow in this direction, it flexes not as much as the Tatar, even if the Tatars were 45 pounds. And this, it feels that it flexes a little more than the Tatar, but not much. So it's still sturdy. It's no, it's not wiggling. So here's nothing is going to happen when you hold the bow and whatever you apply some torque. There is nothing, nothing going to happen. So these limbs are in this regards very forgiving, very, very forgiving, slowly when he's excited. So five, throw experience. On the other side, I have to say, it's awesome. I didn't expect it with this short one. And the old one was not so nice to throw. Look at this, it's 28, 29. You know what I'm saying? But we don't say that. Snow stacking, this bow draws simply like from here you feel the 39 pounds, almost 28, 28. It's the draw is whoosh, subtle. Five. And the shooting experience is absolutely horrible. As is so out of the box, the third arrow on 30 meters dead center. 
groupings out of the box. It doesn't get much better. The first few shots had a little vibration, a kick in the hand, but it disappeared after, I don't know, five, ten arrows. You don't feel anything anymore. I mean, you can't hold the bow very tight anyway, so you need to find the way how to hold this bow. It needs to be alive in your hand and then you don't feel anything. Five leaves you with 29 points, my friends. And price value, it's cheaper than the old version and way more refined than the old version. So for me, 425 euros for this bow. Fully okay. What you get there, really close to a composite bow without being one, without having all this hassle of, oh, my bow looks like this now, I need to leave it strung for two days and fix it and whatever. And then after every shot, you need to check because the limbs are off. This one is simply sturdy, it does the job. You get enough speed out of it, in my opinion, but this is my opinion. I have no idea what I'm talking about. We know that by now. Uh, 185 up to 200 with more lightweight arrows. I know, what do you ask? If you want more, get a rifle. You know? Awesome. So, of course, five again. There's no problem whatsoever. So this one, I like more than I thought. So I didn't want to like it, but it's incredible bow. Awesome. Well made. Shoots really, really nice. So I, just, I, I wouldn't say I don't like short draw bows, you know that. And this one does only 29 inches, but in a way... <laughs> and look at the limbs. Look how they point backwards. But there's still, of course, you are beyond the string angle of 60 degrees, but this is so snappy. And then the string here hits the string pads and it ew, gives it this last kick. I mean, these, these, these Turkish guys, they knew why they designed the bow like this. Awesome. Can't say anything more. I only can say, Thank you, family Shimshek, for existing and for building this incredible bows. Of course, they are not on the cheap side. So if you want, you can have a Turkish bow, 100, 160 euros of fiberglass or these. I forgot the resin material. They have poly, I forgot the name, from Okchubaba. They are 150, 180. Very good for the beginning. This one is simply, most probably not your first bow but maybe a second or third bow and then you are willing to invest a little more and you will be paid back generously. That's all. I did the comparison in between. I thought I'd do an extra video with the comparison, but now you have it already. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.